Hi people, welcome to episode 9 of my welcome, uh, of my welcome to Star Trek Online. I'm Shagrot and I will be your host today. And uh, what we are going to see is uh, this event called Mirror Universe event. Uh, it lasts for an hour and during that time you can volunteer in the player versus environment QE for the mirror event. <coughs> and it has been fairly quick. Uh, if you receive some error because the system can't retrieve uh, the map or something, you need to completely relock. You might need to do it twice. Anyway, you can see there there's an optional objective. It's not really needed, but it, it helps. That requires you to weaken the escort groups. We'll see them later. And for that, you need to upload a virus a computer virus to four surveillance satellites. Don't worry about that, uh, but uh, be careful because if you activate two of them at the same time, you might attract the attention of several task groups. There are four task groups back, uh, in here that uh, well, <coughs> will try to kill you. They are Federation starships of the mirror universe uh, frigates that are essentially um, the, the starting ship for federation characters that means uh, the center class and the like we saw that in the um, in the tutorial with the Miranda class and uh, dreadnoughts with uh, no are the dreadnoughts? Uh, there's cruisers, which uh, are different kind of uh, Tire 5 cruisers and battleships. Yeah, there were battleships. Essentially, uh, the difference is the amount of damage they can dish out and uh, they cap their capabilities. You can see I am essentially hitting everything around me with my cruiser and trusting my survival survivability to well de deal as much damage as I can. There won't be much options when it comes to fight than to attack and attack and attack. If you're not careful you might be chaining from one group to the next. That is not really a good idea. I can do that because I have a lot of uh, gear. <coughs> and as you can see, I am suffering quite a lot, especially in the shields department. Not really a problem, since uh, being an engineer as I am, I can sustain a lot of punishment and deal a lot of damage uh, in the process. You can see the optional objectives uh, are being updated. We already destroyed two. Uh, uh, we already uploaded the virus to two different uh, places, satellites. What? <laughs> and uh, we are now fighting with uh, another task group. This is task group Bravo. Uh, we already faced task group Alpha, and uh, two of the battle groups have been destroyed already. When you reach uh, endgame, it's fairly quick, and sometimes uh, it won't have uh, enough time to deploy all viruses in the four satellites. It's a side effect of dealing too much damage and chaining the different, uh, well, pools. But uh, you should be careful if you're a low level or if you're doing this for the first time to not uh, make a chain pool of several battle groups at the same time especially because they will tend to close into the spawning position where you get inside the map and that's where you will be spawning when if you die or your ship are destroyed which are essentially the same <coughs> anyway, our objectives in here consist essentially on destroying all these uh, enemy ships. In my case, uh, it implies dealing the most damage I can. 
uh, while surviving if possible and uh, when you're destroyed all four battle groups we already destroyed three now it's uh, quite quickly uh, a dreadnought uh, will show up uh, it will be the same skin the same kind of uh, ship you can pilot if you buy it in the sea store a federation dreadnought but it won't have the um, it won't have the spinal laser a uh, phaser uh, instead it will have uh, well several skills and the like it will be the mirror universe flagship the ISS study and it will be showing up right now by the way my crew is suffering quite a lot of damage this is the cinematic of the ship coming through this uh, little rip in the fabric of universe and you can see it is spawning in the middle of uh, an eject warp uh, plasma skill and it's facing me yay just got uh, some attraction to me you can see several task groups have uh, been, uh, have shown these are oh dear I better use some miracle worker here <coughs> and they showed some repair efforts <coughs> well essentially I am taking a lot of damage here usually I don't take that much but I suppose we have some problems here let's uh, regenerate as much as we can anyway these ships that just show up damage uh, damage uh, study group uh, whatever they are ships that are waiting for the study uh, ship to show up and they will try to kill you uh, they were essentially uh, stored into the dry docks being well, into the, uh, into the ship charts being repaired and being prepared for whatever invasion and nefarious uh, plan the mirror universe has for for us if uh, we had completed the optional objective before the study showing up then those cruisers and frigates and battle um, battleships wouldn't be at a hundred percent ODR I am taking quite a pounding in here wouldn't be at a hundred percent health they would instead be at uh, much less uh, cool capabilities but uh, since we didn't find it finish it only a, a handful were in that situation and I should really concentrate a little more on the fight <laughs> You know, since I got uh, my hands on this uh, beautiful ship, that is the that is <coughs> God. Could you believe I forgot the <laughs> the name of my ship, uh, the Odyssey Starship? I somehow uh, managed to survive without it being destroyed. I mean, my ship. Uh, Hey, we killed it already. You see the the items spawn on top of this star base, and uh, so I was telling you, uh, somehow I managed to uh, do a lot of missions without this cruiser blowing up. Anyway, this has been this has been it. If you don't have enough uh, enough gear, or you're rolling with people who doesn't have uh, uh, good enough gear, or uh, well, end game gear like uh, I am currently, uh, it will take uh, more time, not just ten minutes, and you might even be destroyed uh, one or twice if you're not careful since I have a cruiser I can get a 
the attention of a full task group and survive if I am careful and use all my different uh, cooldowns and uh, active skills and well I am an engineer also and the good thing is that uh, wh while our crew got incapacitated we didn't suffer any casualties you see there's uh, two kind of damage that our crew can take that's incapacitated and killed killed would mean that instead of being on white we will have this little men in here on grey but if they are on orange they are just incapacitated the difference is just uh, incapacitated crewmen recover much faster and the cruiser depends a lot of uh, its crew because it can have a lot of crew and that the crew will repair the ship passively really quick you can see here by the way an odyssey with the with the Borg engines and the Flector I'm not sure if you can see this protruding spikes and here you can see a Dreadnought with the same gear you can see staff uh, infects the ship I personally don't li uh, want to be sporting that set because well I like my ship the way it is so this has been the episode 9, thanks for watching and uh, I believe I will wait for the next episode to, uh, for the weekend because uh, it will be then when the Defera event will take place. I might also do a small uh, episode on the Foundry so you all can see its possibilities and well we will be able to discover it together since I didn't uh, create anything in, in the foundry yet I can still refine by the way 44 dilithium today this is one thing the mirror universe event is good for the lithium farm since uh, you can go inside without any kind of cooldown like the, the STFs and some green and blue items if you're if you're lucky, hey, I got a Rear Admiral Upper Half Green item and it's a deflector so it will be... so it will cost uh, a little money that will help me a lot in my quest for reaching the top of the allowed uh, money in my account. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again. 